Cleaning your bottles properly is essential for hygiene. If you don't do it, then using dirty bottles will allow bacteria, mold and microbes to grow inside them and potentially make you ill. Now, many people don't clean their bottles as well as they should. So I'm going to explain the do's and don'ts and how you can do it quickly. Now, there are several different ways to clean bottles, but for all of them, I would recommend combining them with a brush. Now, I know what it looks like. This is not a toilet brush. It is a dedicated bottle brush. It's one that's actually for, for babies' bottles. Now, these only cost a couple of quid, but they're, they're really, really useful. And the reason for that is they're just so much quicker and effective at cleaning a bottle than using something like a normal dish sponge, which is really difficult to get inside the awkward areas and into the bottom of the bottle. This just does it so much quicker, and you can get in that awkward area underneath the shoulder there where often mold tends to, to get. Now, you probably could use a brand new clean toilet brush or a dirty one if you're that way inclined. Uh, but I would suggest you don't because the bristles on them are quite much, well, considerably harder than this. This, the bristles are a lot softer. Um, you can actually get ones that are more expensive than this that have sort of silicon bristles on them. Um, and those bristles are designed not to scratch the inside of a plastic bottle. Some people worry about scratching the inside of a plastic bottle because they think it's going to create little sort of crevices and scratches where it makes it easier for bacteria and mold to grow. Um, although I think just the act of cleaning your bottle effectively, if you're probably inevitably going to get some scratches in a plastic bottle. They don't last forever. I wouldn't worry too much about that. Has another little useful gadget on it, which is this little hidden brush in the end. So this is just like a pipe cleaning brush, but where this is useful is for cleaning the nozzles because this is another area that gets really gunked up. Your mouth's in contact with it and inside the nozzle of a bottle and the little mechanism is often a great place where you, people forget to clean and there's just dirt and mold tends to love to grow in there. So having something that you can stick inside there and clean is really good. The first thing I suggest doing is just using standard washing up liquid or dish soap, if you're in America, and warm water. This stuff is great at sanitizing a bottle and, and get killing bacteria and stuff. Um, but what you can find is that with some stubborn stains on plastic bottles, and also if you have certain, well, some molds can be quite stubborn as well in awkward areas, um, they can be quite difficult to remove with just normal washing up liquid. And so some of the other things that I'm gonna suggest can be better at bringing your bottle back to life. Another great hack, especially if you're in a hurry or if you're traveling, is to use baby bottle sterilization tablets. So these can be picked up very cheap. They come in sachets like this. You simply just take one out. I mean, you probably used them before and then you just chuck one inside your, in your bowl and uh, fill it with boiling water. But an even cheaper thing than using baby tablets is just to use bicarbonate of soda or sodium bicarbonate, uh, which is often found in the store cupboards of cyclists because, well, of its ergogenic uh, properties. Um, so you, you can use it to improve your performance as well, but that's for another story. Um, you can buy this stuff for pence. If you mix it in a ratio of around 70 grams of the stuff into one litre of water, um, and I'd use warm water, then you can fill a washing up bowl with it, put all your bottles in there um, and then leave them immersed for you know a period of time and then just give them a scrub and then again rinse them with some clean water and you're good to go. Uh, sodium bicarbonate is an effective cleaning solution for these things and it's quite good at getting rid of mold but the next thing I would suggest you use um, which you could use as an alternative and as something that's particularly useful if you live in a hard water area where there's lots of carbonate in the water you'll know it if you live in an area like that where we live in Bath has very hard water and where well, it's a bit of a nightmare um, your kettle 
gets all frosted up, uh, is to use just distilled uh, vinegar. So not the fancy stuff, not, not apple cider, none of that. Just the cheapest, clearest, whitest stuff that you can get from the supermarket or grocery store. Um, again, you can buy this stuff for pence, and if you just mix this in a one-to-one -one ratio, it forms um, an effective cleaning solution, especially at getting rid of those carbonate deposits. The reason for that is because vinegar contains acetic acid, um, which is a very mild acid, but it still has the properties of an acid for, for cleaning and killing bacteria and things. So that's good at getting rid of mould. I've found especially effective when you get that little film of mould around the edge of a bottle, very good at bringing it back to life. Now there's some do's, but some important don'ts are as follows. Don't use a dishwasher. Dishwashers often don't go hot enough to deal with the mould that can get trapped inside your bottles. Um, they're not very effective at getting inside that sort of shoulder area under the rim. And they're also rubbish at cleaning inside the nozzles of your bottle too. So what you might find is you'll put your bottle in the dishwasher and then you still need to clean it properly anyway by hand. So you might as well just not waste your time putting it in the dishwasher. The other thing is that not all bottles are dishwasher safe. And don't use harsh cleaning chemicals, especially not bleach. It's not safe to drink bleach, so definitely you don't want to be using that on something that you're going to be drinking out of. Um, sounds obvious. Some people have been known to do it. Uh, the other thing is don't forget to clean the outside of your bottle because especially when you're riding in winter and the roads are dirty and wet, road spray can just cover your bottle in all sorts of filth, sewage and detritus, which then it can come into contact with your hands and your mouth when, when you drink. So always remember to give the outside of your bottle a good clean, not just the inside. So there you have it, short and sweet on this video, but some really important information that will hopefully help keep you healthy and not get ill and catch some nasty bug which could derail your fitness and your cycling, especially you don't want to happen at the start of the year, do you? Right, hope you found this useful. If you have, give it a thumbs up. I'll see you in the next one. Bye!